Hello Taurus Collective, Rose Warrior here, gonna be reading tarot for you. I'm gonna get right into it today. I'm also gonna be reading for Pisces and Scorpio. So if you're a Taurus with Pisces or Scorpio placements, you can look at those videos later. Let's begin with prayer and then I'll get started with a few downloads. Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come forward and guide and guard us as we are in embarkment on the soul journey of Taurus here. Please guide us, please guard us, please keep us safe, and please send the holiest, highest white light of unconditional love our way to protect us as we read the energy. Ashe, by the snap of these three fingers, the energy is clear. Let's begin. Taurus, welcome. If you're new to my page, everyone is accepted here. Everyone, 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 we are safe. I want you to know my angels and my spirit team. I appreciate you and your spirit team here. Sorry, moving my little vape pen. <laughs> vape pens could be significant for you. Spirit is also telling me that make sure to limit your vape pen usage. Spirit tells me that all the time. Interestingly enough, Taurus, you can't see it. Shoot, let me bend it. That way you don't see the other downloads for later. But I wrote 55 right here. And we have 55 coming up here. We got five of swords and the five of cups. There is a major transition happening and occurring within your life at this time, Taurus. You, with this Five of Cups, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, emotionally have made, you may have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio mother, is what I'm picking up on, or you could have an aunt or grandmother who's a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting the energy. Spirit is telling me very clearly right now that there are two family members that love you, that are in support of you. And although you may be going through this situation with figuring out your lineage, figuring out who you are, figuring out your life, uh, and also that connecting to your family and how your emotional state has been resulting because of your connections to your family. Spirit is telling me to let go of the three situations or the three people or the three things that have been weighing you down emotionally you're going through a transitional phase here Taurus you're walking along a river bank here or some sort of body of water so spirit is definitely showing me some sort of vision of you walking along the water and reminiscing on how things have changed spirit says that this change is for you to realize who is in favor of you, who is at your side. See, with the Five of Cups, there are three cups built over, and although the attention is grasped towards the three cups, there's two cups here. Two beautiful cups standing upright, ready at his side for usage. We've got the Five of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. 55 coming up is definitely big on change, definitely big on jumping through some sort of moment in time where every single decision has to be made based off the love you have for you. So you're learning how to love yourself. We've got the King of Pentacles here. We've got the King of Pentacles. Look at that. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this is big time Taurus energy here. You're standing in your power. You showed up first, standing in your power. Look. You got the bulls here, representing Taurus, the Toro bull. It's really awesome. There's a lot of strength about who I'm picking up on. Divine masculine energy, but I'm also picking up on a few divine feminines as well. So if you're divine feminine, you're also welcome here, obviously. Everyone's welcome. This is for divine feminine and masculine energies right now. Personals are down below if you want to do a personal, yeah? I know I don't read for Taurus too often, but if this resonates, or you look at my other videos and it resonates, hit me up for a personal. You're standing in your power, Taurus. 
because you're going through this emotional change and you're understanding and by family you're understanding what family means you're understanding how to redefine it and family is who chooses you back family is who helps you on your journey towards your castle got five of swords here like i said with libra gemini aquarius energy here there is some sort of battles that you have faced that you have actually won i'm sh i'm seeing and it's being shown and depicted someone winning their battles here sorry about it being a little dim but i'll show i'll show you another deck too if the black and white's not sufficing i'm picking up on someone who is extremely smart witty you could be a taurus who is who has air placements or tours who has dealt with a lot of air placements people who have a very keen way of attacking you because they they use their mind and they mentally try to stress you out here but i see that you've won i see that you've actually come out victorious with all five swords you got four swords at your side one that you're holding one that you have at your right hand facing downwards meaning you're relaxed and understanding of where you're at and see spirit also wants you to know with holding that sword here you'll see what i'm saying right here you got to be careful with gloating about your victories because you can cut yourself in that process as the spirit is letting me know here y'all know we speak the truth here love light and integrity period so spirit says not to gloat about these wins because you have the strength, it doesn't mean you have the longevity. But Spirit says you have the strength if you go through these emotional and mental changes and learn how to deal with these family members and these co-workers or these people in your life that seem to be distractions for you. Learn how to deal with them. And when I say deal, I mean you came here to be tested in these ways because you are the Taurus energy here. And the Taurus energy is a fixed sign energy. So you're somebody who came here with a very specific channel purpose. Your soul has a very specific reasoning for why it chose to endure these are life changes, even if it means losing family, friends, or having to battle and demonstrate your power. I'm getting, this is not because you want to. I'm getting, you demonstrate your power because sometimes people call this from you. Look, King of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. But I'm getting big on Leo here. Demonstrating your power. Let me see if I can fix this here. There you go demonstrating your power and this fell right under the king of pentacles here i'm speaking definitely to taurus divine masculine so if you're a taurus divine masculine what is good speaking to somebody who's about their money about their bag i'm also speaking to a few people who are very consistent in the gym very consistent in working out this can be something that you're very focused on right now at this time because both kings of pentacles and wands are two kings that definitely are worried about the physical appearance and how they can demonstrate power in every aspect so you're focusing on the mind the emotions and the body this is a mind body spirit reading right now spirit is telling me we got the queen of pentacles coming out taurus awesome so i definitely have divine feminine taurus here this is capricorn taurus virgo so we've got King of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. I'm picking up on a storyline now of, or a timeline, if you will, of this Queen of Pentacles having, if you're a queen, Taurus here, consider yourself a queen. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. I'm going to tell you this much. If you consider yourself a queen, you have a masculine earth sign or a masculine fire sign. And they're both very, 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 very channeled in their energy here. So Taurus, you have love coming your way and this is coming quick. 
And when I say love, I mean this is something that you don't need a bunch of cards to show you. Yeah, look, we got King of Cups at the bottom and the Queen of Cups came out underneath the Five of Swords here. So what I'm getting also, Taurus, is that you can have a, wow, this is crazy, so many downloads, so many royal energies here in the building. You could have a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer that that is hating on you or that is watching you receive these blessings right now you're the center of attention taurus is what i'm getting you're the center of attention you're receiving abundance you're receiving stability you're receiving downloads from spirit you're receiving a higher rank and you're and you're receiving the staircase and the lights shining down on the staircase for you to take the steps towards that higher rank here but spirit is telling me it's not going to come without moving towards this change here with the 55 that showed up five of cups and the five of swords you're gonna have to face your mind and your heart and the baggage it still carries or the baggage that is still lingering and it's just a matter of healing by accepting healing by integrating taurus so with the knight of pentacles here taurus energy you could be taking your time right now this is Knight of Pentacles that came out. Lots of Taurus energy coming out for sure. Lots of Earth sign energy here. You're taking your time right now. I'm getting this energy with the Knight of Pentacles that you are on a mission that has taken a long time. You have faced a lot of obstacles and a lot has come your way. You could have, see, this Knight of Pentacles is on a horse here but i'm getting the energy of a mustang you could have a mustang or you could be into cars is what i'm picking up here and i'm picking up a divine masculine taurus sun moon or rising sitting in their car contemplating thinking about life maybe looking at this video right now which is crazy if i just channel that and this is you please comment if that's you if you're a divine masculine literally sitting in your car that found this, that's the vision I picked up in my third eye here. This Knight of Pentacles. So you're contemplating uh, all the changes and how they are affecting you and how they are affecting the people around you. You're Taurus. You know, you're ruled by love. You're ruled by being able to serve others from a place of a heart-centered intention. Yep. From a place of a heart center intention and you get the ten of cups pisces cancer scorpio you're going to receive love you're going to receive a family you're going to receive a stronger bond with your family you're going to receive a stronger sense of understanding between you and your significant other or your significant other is coming in with the judgment card spirit says this reading is the truth so we've got the ten of cups here I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a queen of pentacles, a queen Taurus, you've got a king of wands and a, and a king of pentacles here. You've got two divine masculines that want your love, they want your attention, and they want a life with you and or they want to have a chance at least to discover what your heart is like and vice versa. If you are a king of pentacles, if you are a divine masculine Taurus. You are coming off like a king of wands. You could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius rising. So I'm speaking to a Taurus with a fire rising. So there, you've got this fire about you, this ability to come off youthful, vibrant, radiant. Two, back back to the first thing with this Taurus here. This Queen Taurus. Be careful of this Queen of Cups who is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Just looking, she doesn't get much attention and hasn't had much luck. And whoever this is, I don't like her energy. I don't like the vibe. It's just creeping. And if you're a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, cross-watching, which is probably what this card is, 
Spirit says to have good intentions, yeah, because my ancestors do not play. Even if you don't feel them or see them, doesn't mean all 1,000 of them are not behind me looking at you right now. So make sure, like I said to this Taurus Divine Feminine here, pay attention to the water elements around you and make sure that they're easy flowing, easy going, and they're not manipulative. You'll know this because Taurus, you pick up on feeling through the senses. So just like a queen of cups is able to manipulate energy around her, you're able to feel it through the earth and manipulate it through the body from within. So Taurus has a very special innate superpower. It's a super strength. It's an internal strength that can be manifested into physical strength is what spirit is telling me. These are just a bunch of downloads. So take what resonates Taurus, leave what doesn't, this is a general, okay? We do have love coming in for you. So if you're a Taurus that was guided to this reading and you wanted one message, yes, you are going to find love. Yes, your love is going to be rekindled. Yes, your family is going to be rekindled. Yes, you need to hope. You need to pray. You need to align yourself with the vibration of the reality you want and it will reach you, Taurus. I'm going to end your reading here for today. Just wanted to pop up real quick, see where my Taurus Collective was at. If this reading resonates and you want a one on one, hit that email button below in the description. If you would like to donate to my channel, I do want to let people know even a dollar helps because it helps with my new Oracle cards, it helps with my uh, just future endeavors with this channel here. So, we did have the death card come out here as I was going to pull for the future. Spirit says to pull one more. Spirit says don't shuffle, so I won't. So we've got Pisces energy here, Taurus, and we've got Scorpio energy here. We've got some sort of enlightenment about a person around you who is very manipulative. This is the number 12 in the major arcana, and this is the number 13. So the fact that the number 12 and the number 13 both came out says that you are very, very closely linked to certain people around you, and you're gonna be enlightened to this with this Piscean energy. Trust your intuition, Taurus. Like I said, trust that inner power that you have. It will remind you and awaken when you are threatened or when someone is manipulating you. It will awaken within you is what spirit is telling me to, to tell you. It's not a warning. This is just you to know. This is just for you. you. You're already in this situation. You probably already know this. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Someone around you is a very immature, very impulsive. Um, they just, they stare. They're, they're one of those people that like, they give evil eye without even trying. So this isn't you. This is the person that is staring they are someone who is still healing and instead of looking within they're looking elsewhere so like i said if you are a pisces cancer or scorpio energy who is cross watching please make sure you're only cross watching with positive intentions that's the second time spirit told me to say that so I'm going to let that go. I'm going to let the reading end on that note with the Knight of Wands here. Spirit is also giving me a message to say, make sure you focus on your fitness. If you're not focused on your body, focus on the eating. That's the most important thing. If not, 90% of health will be your eating. The 10% will be just all the other incremental habits that build over time. You know this, Taurus, you know this. So with this Knight of Wands, it's not just impulsive energy. On the flip side, it is also energy for you to channel. You can transmute anything and turn it into strength, not just from within, but also on the outside physically so you can achieve the goals you have set forth here in this realm. Thank you, Taurus. Much love to you. This is for sun, moon, and rising, Venus, or Mercury, any placements. If the video found you, it was from a Taurus or your Taurus. Much love to you and have a great rest of your day, guys. Peace.